So treaties establish the relationship and the relationship also includes the right to health care. However, this hasn't always played out uh, in reality for people, including um, a little boy named Jordan River Anderson. So Jordan River Anderson was uh, born with complex medical needs. Um, however, this would not be a problem, um, but Jordan uh, also happened to be First Nations. So when he was born, he spent his entire life within a hospital because uh, the provincial government of Manitoba and the federal government of Canada couldn't decide which um, party was responsible for paying for Jordan's health care. As a result, uh, Jordan was never able to leave the hospital and didn't spend one day living in his family home. If you don't know uh, who Cindy Blackstock is um, and you're looking for a new hero, I would recommend taking a look into um, the work that the First Nations Caring Society does as, and Cindy Blackstock is the executive director of and the work that she has done fighting for Indigenous kids in Canada. So the work that she has done eventually led to court decisions. However, um, when the federal government decided, okay, we'll agree to Jordan's principle, uh, the qualifications to get some of that money, actually, nobody was actually able to meet them. So then we had to go back to court in order to make it accessible for people. So eventually, um, at the end of, no, uh, around November of 2021, the largest settlement package in Canadian history um, came to be. So this included uh, $40 billion. Hopefully this is the last settlement that will occur of its kind, but as of right now, it's the largest settlement um, of its kind within Canada. So Jordan's principle is supposed to take care of any um, medical needs that an Indigenous person might have. And just the idea now is to just get people what they need and the bureaucratic fighting can continue behind the scenes and the money will flow. But the priority becomes the health care of the individual. So this is something to really keep in mind, um, all of the fighting and all of the cost and like essentially like the hot potatoing of jurisdictional battles that comes to what governments are willing to pay for within what we call Canada.